Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to Fight Club. All I know about this movie is that you don't talk about Fight Club. So that being said, if you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the movie. What are we looking at, some DNA strands or something? With as famous that Brad Pitt is, I don't think I've ever seen a movie with him in it. And I only think I've seen Edward Norton in The Hulk. So it's gonna be cool to see them in a serious role. What am I looking at? Is that a gun? They're always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. This is it. Oh my god. Uh -huh. With a gun barrel between your teeth, you speak only in vowels. <laughs> and I wonder how clean that gun is. It's getting exciting now. What in the world are they doing? We have front row seats for this theater of mass destruction. A dozen buildings with blasting gelatin. What? A few square blocks will be reduced to smoldering rubble. Why? <laughs> Two and a half. Think of everything we've accomplished. So they're partners. The gun, the bombs, the revolution has got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Bob. Bob had bitch tits. <laughs> what? This was a support group for men with testicular cancer. They're still men. I'm so confused. He developed bitch tits because his testosterone was too high and his body upped the estrogen. That is unfortunate hung enormous the way you'd think of gods as big the way this guy's speaking let me start earlier for six months i couldn't sleep i couldn't sleep i couldn't sleep with insomnia nothing's real oh god he has insomnia everything's a copy of a copy what the heck this guy's got some real issues deep space exploration ramps up it'll be the corporations that name everything the ibm stellar sphere the microsoft galaxy <laughs> that would suck it must have been tuesday he was wearing his cornflower blue tie that's how you keep track of the weekdays huh make these your primary action items he was full of pep must have had his grande latte enema <laughs> if i saw something clever like a little coffee table in the shape of a yin yang i had to have it capitalism wins every time what kind of dining set defines me as a person he buys everything huh and not off. I wake up in strange places. I have no idea how I got there. You need to lighten up. <laughs> That's doctor's advice. You need healthy, natural sleep. Chew some valerian root and get more exercise. Very helpful. I'm in pain. Swing by First Methodist Tuesday nights. See the guys with testicular cancer. That's pain. Okay, but what is that flashing? Is that like Brad Pitt's character flashing or something? Can't really tell. So let's all of us here follow Thomas's good example and really open ourselves up. Did you find a partner? What was that? And this is how I met the big moosey. So we kind of just came here for no reason, just because that doctor said so. Bob had been a champion bodybuilder. You know that chest expansion program you see on late night TV? <laughs> I was a juicer using steroids. The irony. Go ahead. Good news. You can cry. <laughs> Telling someone to cry. This guy's name isn't actually Cornelius, is it? And then something happened. <laughs> I let go. Really He's actually crying. I found freedom. Losing all hope was freedom. It's like a Warshack painting. Babies don't sleep this well. All I needed was a good cry. I became addicted. He's addicted to going to like trauma meetings. <laughs> That's insane <laughs> if i didn't say anything people always assume the worst wow they cried harder <laughs> then i cried harder that's a weird uh form of therapy but whatever you gotta do I'm not really hurting anyone that's right you're going deeper into your cave <laughs> you're going to find your power animal a penguin's your power animal huh Bye. <laughs> Baby voice penguin. This was my vacation. She's really loving this stuff. And she ruined everything. Oh god. Why is she here? This chick, Marla Singer, did not have testicular cancer. <laughs> she was a liar. <laughs> I had seen her at Free and Clear, my blood parasites group Thursdays. Oh god. She's doing the same thing as you. Her lie reflected my lie. And suddenly, I felt nothing. He has to face himself. Once again, I couldn't sleep. Oh my god. She really is messing things up for him. 
I'm gonna grab that little bitch Marla Singer and scream. Marla, you liar! Oh god. I need this, now get out! Wait, you didn't do that though. <laughs> when you have insomnia, you're never really asleep, and you're never really awake. Couldn't imagine. I'm so close to the end, and all I want is to get laid for the last time. <laughs> I have pornographic movies in my apartment, and lubricants, and anal nitrate. Wow. She's really trying. <laughs> if I did have a tumor, I'd name it Marla. <laughs> the little scratch on the roof of your mouth that would heal if only you could stop tonguing it, but you can't. He really hates her. I'll find your power, animal. Slide. <laughs> That's not a penguin. Let's partner up. Maybe they need each other for something. We need to talk. Sure. Is this their first time talking? You're a faker. You're not dying. Sorry. <laughs> I saw you had tuberculosis. I saw you had testicular cancer. I saw you practicing this. <laughs> Telling me off. Is it going as well as you hoped? She's observant. I'll expose you. Go ahead. I'll expose you. Yeah, you don't got a good blackmail here. <laughs> Why do you do it? When people think you're dying, man, they really, really listen to you. It's a free audience. Look, you don't want to get into this. It becomes an addiction. I guess this place is like the only realness in the world is escaping the corporate life. We're going to split up the week, okay? You take lymphoma and tuberculosis. You take tuberculosis. My smoking doesn't go over at all. <laughs> okay. Testicular cancer should be no contest, I think. Well, right? technically, I have more of a right to be there than you. You still have your balls. <laughs> She's got a point. You can't have both the parasites, but why don't you take the blood parasites? I want brain parasites. This is a weird negotiation. So That's far, you have four. I only have two. Gotta compromise. Hey, you left half your clothes. <laughs> this lady's crazy. What's her motivation for this? Just has to be something deeper, right? Eh? What about the seventh day? I want ascending bowel cancer. No, no, I, I want bowel cancer. <laughs> weird thing to say. Take the first and third Sunday of the month. Deal. Weirdest negotiation ever. Well, let's not make a big thing out of it, okay? How's this for not making a big thing? <laughs> hey, Marlon. Definitely doesn't care. Maybe, maybe we should exchange numbers. Should we? We might want to switch nights. Okay. Now he's interested in her. I'm thinking they could be good for each other. Who are you? Cornelius? Rupert? Travis? Any of the stupid names you give each night? Yeah, I need a name to go by. Don't know what to call him. If you wake up at a different time, in a different place, could you wake up as a different person? There's Brad. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. <laughs> that is true. My job was to apply the formula. If X is less than the cost of a recall, we don't do one. It's just a formula. Which car company do you work for? A major one. <laughs> Every time the plane banked too sharply on takeoff for landing, I prayed for a crash. This guy's hating his life. Holy crap. Not a pretty sight. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, you can feel you would be unable or unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card. Are they actually meeting each other right now? You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. Oxygen gets you high. Docile. You accept your fate. Is that true? What do you do? You for a living. Why? So you can pretend like you're interested. <laughs> you got an interesting character here. You have a kind of sick desperation in your life. <laughs> we have the exact same briefcase. I make and I sew soap. That's weird. <laughs> Tyler Durden. Did you know if you mixed equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate, you can make napalm? This guy's got the fun facts. Tell you are by far the most interesting single serving friend I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. How I came to live with Tyler is, airlines have this policy about vibrating luggage. Oh god, it's not a pretty package. I had everything in that suitcase. My CK shirts, my DKNY shoes. Never mind. Guy loves all the brains. Tyler just stole that dude's car, huh? Debris that used to be your furniture and personal effects blows out of your floor to ceiling windows and sails flaming into the night. What in the world? Did this actually happen? It's hard to tell what's real with this guy. Oh, there's his yin yang table. You can't go into the unit. Police orders. 
This whole place just blew up, huh? How embarrassing. A house full of condiments and no food. <laughs> Doesn't cook for himself, huh? That's convenient. I can hear you. That'd be very unfortunate. If you ask me now, I couldn't tell you why I called him. Rather call Tyler than Marla, huh? He doesn't answer. Oh. Who's this? We had the same suitcase. Uh, the clever guy. <laughs> could be worse. A woman could cut off your penis while you're sleeping and toss it out the window of a moving car. That would be worse. <laughs> So this guy actually lives near you, huh? I had it all. I had a stereo that was very decent. <laughs> a wardrobe that was getting very respectable. This guy's very materialistic. Murder, crime, poverty, these things don't concern me. What concerns me are celebrity magazines, television with 500 channels. <laughs> Brad Pitt's one guy to talk. I say stop being perfect. I say let, let's evolve. That's what he needs to hear. Things you own end up owning you. <laughs> This guy's got some wise advice. To find a hotel. Just ask, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Three pitches of beer and you still can't ask. Stay at his place? You call me because you need a place to stay. Cut the foreplay and just ask, man. <laughs> That's not his personality type, huh? Can I stay at your place? Yeah. Thanks. Tyler's bringing him out of his comfort zone. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah, sure. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> what? Like some single frames of pornography in the family film? That's when you'll catch a flash of Tyler's contribution to the film. What the heck, dude? Nobody knows that they saw it, but they did. Is this what was happening earlier in this movie? With like the flashes of people? Tyler also worked sometimes as a banquet waiter at the luxurious Pressman Hotel. This fourth wall stuff, man. It's weird. Farted on meringue, sneezed on braised on deep, and as for the cream of mushroom soup, well... This guy's got some serious issues. Well, what do you want me to do? You just want me to hit you. Come on. Do me just one favor. Why? Why? I don't know why. I don't know. He's a nutcase. So come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, this is crazy. You want me to hit you? That's right. <laughs> what, like in the <laughs> face? <laughs> Surprise me. Go for a liver shot. Oh. <laughs> Punch him in the collarbone. You hit me in the ear! <laughs> oh, God. It was the ear. Oh, I fucked it up. Kinda. Oh, that was... <laughs> no! Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't sign up to get hit back. Hit me again. <laughs> I think he needed this friendship. Come on! Oh god. Are they gonna get addicted to fighting and they join a fight club or something? There's your car. What car? What car, huh? It's a really dilapidated house. The stairs were ready to collapse. I didn't know okay. if he owned it or if he was squatting. I highly doubt he owns this. What a shithole. Nothing worked. <laughs> Looks like it was a nice house in its prime. <laughs> they really just beat each other up for fun now. By the end of the first month, I didn't miss TV. Is he not going back to his normal life or what? <laughs> Bringing other people into the fights. Can I be next? Oh, they're gonna start their own fight club. After fighting, everything else in your life got the volume turned down. So he's going back to work at least. We were finding out more and more that we were not alone. Really got some street fights going. I should have been haggling with my insurance company. I should have been upset about my nice, neat, flaming little shit. He's really letting everything go. He's becoming a nomad. I showed this already my man here. You liked it, didn't you? Ugh. <laughs> You can swallow a pint of blood before you get sick. This guy's unhinged now. It was on the tip of everyone's tongue. Tyler and I just gave it a name. Fight Club. This is some underground stuff. Just gonna set up fights in this basement. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. There's the iconic line. Third rule of Fight Club, someone yells stop, taps out. The fight is over. Okay, so they actually have real rules too. <laughs> and the eighth and final rule. If this is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. Pretty good rule set, I guess. 
Ricky couldn't remember whether you ordered pens with blue ink or black, but Ricky was a god for 10 minutes when he trounced the maitre d' of a local food court. Makes these people's boring life interesting, I guess. Who you were in Fight Club is not who you were in the rest of the world. Yep, it's their outlet. Everywhere we went, we were sizing things up. Starting to feel confidence. He's really changing his whole mindset. Looks like a proud father. Nice body slam. Ooh. Dang. When the fight was over, nothing was solved, but nothing mattered. Dang. That's brutal. Afterwards, we all felt saved. How about next week? How about next month? And no hard feelings between anybody, huh? Sometimes Tyler spoke for me. I fell down some stairs. I fell down some stairs. Hmm. I'm starting to feel that Tyler is in our main character's head. Ugh. Hey, even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. Losing a tooth. That is the worst. Where have you been the last eight weeks? Yeah, don't forget about Marla. I haven't seen you at any support groups. He made his own. How do you know? I cheated. <laughs> I found a new one. Really? For men only. Like the testicle thing? <laughs> yeah, she's not afraid of men only. This isn't a for real suicide thing. This is probably one of those cry for help things. <laughs> she's very self aware. Have you ever heard a death rattle before? Just leaving her on the go. That was in his mind or something? Tyler's door was closed. I've been living here for two months and Tyler's door was never closed. Oh boy. You won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything you had last night. It wasn't a dream. Just can't remember because he's so messed up. This is my house. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> Probably invited her, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you got some fucked up friends, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm pretty... I'm very confident in my guess. What are the odds his door was shut? And he shows up right when she leaves. I already knew the story before he told it to me. To evacuate soul. I feel like this is like his alternate reality self. See, she wouldn't just grab him like that. <laughs> Somebody call the cops. And then they ran to the messed up house. Girl who lived here used to be a charming, lovely girl. Spank <laughs> in herself. Okay. She had every reason to live. She's infectious human waste. <laughs> we called the help for her, though. The shit that came out of this woman's mouth, I ain't never heard. I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. Oh, <laughs> what? She invaded my support groups. Now she'd invaded my home. Hey, hey. I don't know. Can't have you talking to her about me. Yeah, I promise. Promise. I just said I promise. What? what? Just like Fight Club. Don't talk about it. Hmm. Okay, this kind of messes with my theory, but who knows what's real? What are you doing? Just going to bed. You want to finish her off? Oh, God. Oh, thank you. I found cigarettes. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. I'm still believing it. It makes so much sense. Is that your blood? Some of it, yeah. <laughs> Take the rest of the day off. Come back Monday with some clean clothes. Get yourself together. Is regular job starting to fall apart now? Go live in a dilapidated house in a toxic waste part of town, and you have to come home to this. He's choosing an interesting life to live now. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but it seems that someone sprayed Freon into your front door lock. No, I wasn't aware of that at all. Did he do it himself, somehow? Dynamite! Dynamite? Left a residue of ammonium oxalate potassium chloride. It means it was homemade. Tyler was talking about some homemade stuff. Tell them the Liberator destroyed my property is realigned my perception. It's definitely an alternate, alternate self. That is serious. Yes, I know it's serious. I mean that. Yes, it's very serious. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> He's acting. Tell him you blew it all up. That's what he wants to hear. That's probably true, isn't it? The condom is the glass slipper of our generation. 
<laughs> you slip one on when you meet a stranger, dance all night, then you throw it away. Interesting metaphor. Now I don't even know if Marla's real. Get rid of her. Okay, I'm seeing something here. I think they're both fake now. You are such a nutcase. I can't even begin to keep up. They're like two sides of his personality, trying to like teach him something. Tonight, we make soap. To make soap, first we render fat. Oh god. <laughs> He's gotta steal his ingredients. Still trying to think how this all leads to that very beginning of the movie with the explosives. Wait, what is this place? A liposuction clinic. Oh god, that's disgusting. Aha, pay dirt. They just throw away human fat. The biggest fat in the world. Ugh. Out of the land. Oh god, that's so disgusting. No. Oh no, it's gonna rip. Oh my god. Oh, God. Holy frick, that's gross. The fat renders the towel explode to the surface. I don't even like animal fat. Human fat? It's even worse. Yeah, with enough soap, one could blow up just about anything. Really? What is this? This is a chemical burn. Ah. Oh, no. It'll hurt more than you've ever been burned, and you will have a scar. What are you doing? What is wrong with this guy? Without pain, without sacrifice. God dang. Come on! I get the boy again, No, please. what you're feeling is premature and light. Go through some shock therapy here. If our fathers bailed, what does that tell you about God? Oh, no, no, I don't. Oh my god. This is a hard test. You can run water over your hand and make it worse, or look at me! Or you can use vinegar to neutralize the burn. Please let me have it, please! <laughs> First you have to know, not fear, that someday you're gonna die. Everyone knows that, right? It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. This is a pretty brutal test. Congratulations. You're one step closer to hitting bottom. It's going through a whole awakening. It was beautiful. We were selling rich women their own fat asses back to them. That is crazy business. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. What the heck? I must have left the original in the copy machine. The second rule of Fight Club. Is this yours? Huh? <laughs> you really left that in the printer, huh? What would you do? Pretend I didn't see it. Well, I gotta tell you, I'd be very, very careful who you talk to about that. <laughs> who wrote that is dangerous. No oh, way. Wow. Psycho might just snap stalk from office to office in Armalite AR-10. Is this guy actually saying this? Pumping round after round in the colleagues and co-workers. This might be someone you've known for years. <laughs> someone very, very close to you. No way he's actually saying this. And I used to be such a nice guy. Well, maybe you just shouldn't bring me every little piece of trash you happen to pick up. I guess he did say this. He doesn't care at all. It's completely unhinged. I need you to check and see if there's a lump in my breast. I don't know about this, Marla. <laughs> she didn't call Tyler. I'm neutral in her book. Did he become one with Tyler? Because he said he's used his words. If Tyler doesn't show up again, I think I know what happened. Feel anything? No. We'll make sure. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's your way. <laughs> I wish I could return the favor. It's not a lot of breast cancer in the men in my family. You could check your prostate. Uh-huh. I'm okay. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, we're done. See you around. Still doesn't like her, huh? Point me, oh yes? Oh god. This guy. You still remaining men together? No, no, I got something so much better now. What is it? Well, first rule is I'm not supposed to talk about it. Oh, he joined the club? I'm a member. Look at my face, Bob. <laughs> they never saw each other. I've never seen you there. I go Tuesdays and Thursdays. I go Saturday. Hmm. Thought you would go more often than just Saturday. Have you heard about the guy that invented this thing? Yeah, actually. I hear I... all kinds of things. He was born in a mental institution, and he sleeps only one hour a night. Oh, God. Do you know about Tyler Durden? He's going to be mad that he's not getting the credit. But if that's true, born in a mental institution, I can explain why our main character is so crazy, because I think it's about him. This was mine and Tyler's gift. Our gift to the world. Around, I look around. I see a lot of new faces. Okay, so Tyler is still here. Which means a lot of you have been breaking the first two rules of Fight Club. People been talking. We're the middle children of history, man. We have no great war. No great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. <laughs> our great depression is our lives. So deep. 
First rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about. Oh god. What are these guys doing? Oh my. He's got a gun. There's a sign on the front that says Lou's Tap. I'm fucking Lou. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Oh god. We have a deal worked out with Irvin. You don't own this place. I do. This is an issue. How much money is he getting for this? There is no money. Be too old. Ain't that something? It is actually. <laughs> I want everybody out of here right now. Hey, you should join our club. Oh well. You hear me now? He's joining. <laughs> no, I didn't quite catch that, Lou. Oh boy. Still not getting it. He likes getting beat. <laughs> ah, Lou. <laughs> oh god. Tyler's crazy. <laughs> That's fucking funny. This guy loves punishment. Unbelievable. Oh boy. Ugh. It's bleeding all over him. Please let us keep it low. Play it away. Fucking use the basement. Cry. I want your work. I'm my mother's. Gave in pretty easily. We'll see you next week. Well, that worked out. Each one of you has a homework assignment. You're gonna go out. You're gonna start a fight with a total stranger. That's probably not a good idea. You're gonna start a fight, and you're gonna lose. That's makes it even more interesting, actually. Hey, watch out, jackass! Come on. Now this is not as easy as it sounds. Most people don't want to fight. Normal people do just about anything to avoid a fight. <laughs> yeah. Spread me with your pose. I don't know. That's not necessary. <laughs> That's not necessary. Sorry. <laughs> you tried. There we go. Now the best punches. Oh god, is he gonna try to start a fight with his boss? Brake linings that fail after a thousand miles. Fuel injectors that explode and burn people alive. He has blackmail. Are you threatening me? No. Get the fuck out of here, you're fired. I have a better solution. Yeah, fire him. You keep me on the payroll as an outside consultant. My job will be never to tell people these things that I know. And there we go. I can do this job from home. That's a good gig. You think you are, you crazy little shit? <laughs> Security? Oh god, what's happening to him? Oh. He's hitting himself. What the hell are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Is he trying to frame him or? No, please stop! Oh, oh. oh my god. He's committed to giving this stay-at-home job. No! For some reason, I thought of my first fight with Tyler. I think this could explain how he's faking these fights with Tyler in his mind. I'm telling you. Imagine being the boss here. Just watching someone do this. Oh, thank God. Please don't hit me again. <laughs> 52 weekly paychecks and 48 airline flight coupons. It's really going to work out for him. This is how Tyler and I were able to have Fight Club every night of the week. Oh, wow. I am Jack's wasted life. You are Jack wasted life. What does that mean? Tyler dreamed up new homework assignments. Destroy all the satellite things. It's vandalizing everything. That was a clean swipe. Bob even found one up in Newcastle. Yeah, did you start that one? No, I thought you did. Nah. It's spreading. <laughs> really causing a whole ruckus. What the heck? Wow. Now they're just doing elaborate pranks. <laughs> what a little petty joke. <laughs> what are we doing? Homework assignment. What kind of homework assignment? Human sacrifice. He's not gonna kill that guy, is he? Oh my god, what is he doing? Raymond, you're going to die. <laughs> this is way too far. Oh, An expired on. community college student ID. What'd you study, Raymond? <laughs> the question, Raymond, was what did you want to be? Answering, Raymond, Jesus. 
Then they're animals. Yeah, animals. So stuff. Yeah, I got that. What's the point of this? Too much school. Would you rather be dead? No. Would you rather die here on your knees in the back of a convenience store? Is it gonna make him go back to school? I'm keeping your license. Gonna check in on you. I know where you live. What? If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. That is wild. It's forcefully making people try to change their lives for the better. Run, Force, run! What? <laughs> that wasn't funny. What the fuck was the point of that? Tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond Castle's life. I don't know about that. You had to give it to him. He had a plan. And it started to make sense in a Tyler sort of way. Yeah. This guy's just living the free. You're not how much money you have in the bank. You're not the car you drive. You're not the contents of your wallet. I mean, these are good things to say. It's just like the film. This movie's so weird. You still going to groups? Yeah, Chloe's dead. When did that happen? Do you care? I don't know, I haven't thought about it in a while. <laughs> what, what are you getting out of all this? Is this making you happy? I feel like he's asking himself that. Why does a weaker person need to latch on to a strong person? What, what, what is that? What do you get out of it? Exactly. I'm sorry, are you, do you hear this? Hear what? Hold on a second. Don't change the subject. I don't want to talk about this. You're not talking about me, are you? No. What is happening? Talk to me. Leave me alone. This conversation. This conversation is over. Is over. Okay. I'm starting to think Marla's real, but Tyler is definitely not real. What, what, what is all this? What do you think? Hey, why, why do we need bunk beds? What's happening now? Having somebody new move in. If the applicant is young, tell me he's too young. Old, too old, fat, too fat. Applicant? Oh, wow. Waits for three days without food, shelter, or encouragement. He may then enter and begin his training. Wow. Doing some weird boot camp. Get the fuck out of here. It's not the end of the world. Just go away. <laughs> We're trespassing, and I will have to call the police. Why isn't this person reacting in any way? Get the fuck off my porch. Get off my porch! What is this? We all became what Tyler wanted us to be. This is so weird. One black jacket. Sir. $300 of personal burial money. Yes, sir. All right. He passed the weird test, huh? You're too old, fat man. <laughs> so he just gave up right away. The other guy didn't. Space monkey. Ready to sacrifice himself for the greater good. What in the world are they going to do with him? Okay, so he's staying now. You're too fucking blonde! <laughs> you are not special. You are not a beautiful. Ready his own boot camp prison. Tyler built himself an army. For what greater good? That is the question. In Tyler we trusted. Tyler's a cult leader now. We believe this is one of many recent acts of vandalism around the city, somehow related to underground boxing clubs. Not a word really got around. It was just yeah! after the yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So that was them. <laughs> Dang. How do you even do that? What the fuck did you guys do? <laughs> See, I feel like they're laughing at him because he did it. Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions, sir. Starting a new thing. Project Mayhem, huh? It's only the beginning. I gotta take a piss. Helping others with prevention. Oh, God. They infiltrated this party. It will be a powerful new weapon. What are they gonna do? They're about to mess with this guy big time. Who is this guy? Oh god. You're gonna call off your rigorous investigation. You're gonna publicly state that there is no underground group. Or, these guys are gonna take your balls. No oh, way. Wow. The people you are after are the people you depend on. We cook your meals. We haul your trash. It's just the everyday man. Do not fuck with us. <laughs> Gotta take this deal. Oh god. Oh god. There's your warning. I'm guessing that should work then. There we go. <laughs> it's getting better at fighting. Someone stop him. I wanted to open the dump valves on oil tankers and smother all those French beaches I'd never see. It's going too far. Everyone's looking at him like he's crazy. Where'd you go, psycho boy? I felt like destroying something beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. 
I was pretty messed up. I thought we were doing this together. You're missing the point. This does not belong to us. It's bigger than that. Look, you decide your own level of involvement. I will. I want to know certain things. <laughs> well, you need to forget about what you know. That's your problem. Forget about what you think you know about life, about friendship, and especially about you and me. Yeah. What, what, what is that supposed to mean? What, what? He doesn't even look at the road when he's driving. If you were to die right now, how would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my life. Is that what you want to hear me say? Fine. Come on. Not good enough. Oh my god. He did not back down. God damn it, fuck you. <laughs> Psycho. You're fucking pathetic. <laughs> Why? What are you talking about? Why do you think I blew up your condo? There we go. That's what I thought happened. Let go! Alright, fine. Let's go into this whole emotional journey. How'd I crash? Really does not care about anything. Oh god. Pure psycho. This must have been what all those people felt like before I filed them as the statistics in my reports. Yeah. Now you know what your job's about and what it feels like. We just had a near life experience. A near life experience. That's interesting. Feel better, champ. So confused. I don't even know what to think. And then... Tyler? Tyler was gone. Did he learn everything he needed to learn from him? Was I asleep? Had I slept? Oh god. So many people moving, the house moved. Got a whole factory in here now. This is super weird. Got like a whole organized facility now. Holy crap. Where's Tyler? Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do uh, not ask. Right, uh, okay. He really messed this guy up. My father dumped me. Tyler dumped me. I am Jack's broken heart. Is his name Jack? I still don't even know his name. Who are all these people? Paper Street Soap Company. Can I come in? <laughs> He's not here. What? Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. What is that reaction? Still don't know if she's real or not. Two gunshot wounds coming through! Some Holy crap. What happened? We were supposed to kill two birds with one stone, destroy a piece of corporate art, and trash a franchise coffee bar. Sounds like a busy night. <laughs> that is a pretty good plane. Police! They shot Bob. They shot him in the no. head. Bob. Oh. oh my god. Take him to the garden and bury him. Get the fuck up! Get away from him! He's a friend of mine and you're not gonna bury him in the fucking garden. He <laughs> in Project Mayhem, we have no names. This is a man and he has a name. And it's Robert Paulson. He has like such big bags under his eyes. He hasn't been sleeping. In death, a member of Project Mayhem has a name. <laughs> his name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. That's their new rule. His name Stop it. is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. This is so weird. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. Now I'm starting to feel that everything we've seen is in his head. I'm looking for Tyler Durden. Very important that I talk to him. I wish I could help you, sir. <laughs> they know he's in on it. As soon as I set foot off the plane, I knew a fight club was close. It's really... Spread wide. Had I slept? Is Tyler my bad dream or my Tyler's? That's a good question. It was like following an invisible man. I was always just one step behind Tyler. Oh god, what is happening? Welcome back, sir. How have you been? <laughs> Do you know me? Is this a test, sir? No. Yeah. You were in here last Thursday. You were standing exactly where you are now asking how good security is. It must have been Tyler. When he's in Tyler mode. Who do you think I am? You're Mr. Durden. You're the one who gave me this. Exactly. Backs to their full, upright, and locked position. It's starting to all come together. He became Tyler. Yeah. More like me. Have we ever done it? <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? Is it stupid because the answer is yes or because the answer is no? This is a trick. <laughs> you want to know if I think we're just having sex or making love? We did make love. Is that what you're calling it? It's all starting to add up. 
You show me a sensitive side, then you turn into a total asshole. Is that a pretty accurate description of our relationship, Tyler? That's an accurate description of his life. What did you just call me? Say my name. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, you fucking freak. Oh, that's his name. Like his actual name. You broke your promise. Jesus, Tyler. You fucking talked to her about me. Tyler. Oh, God. I ask you for one thing. One simple thing. Why do people think that I'm you? <laughs> Answer me! You're the same. Two sides of the same coin. Why do people think that I'm you? I think you know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? <laughs> no. Do not fuck with us! Say it. You're one and the same. Because we're the same person. That's right. You were looking for a way to change your life. You could not do this on your own. He had to split his personalities in his mind. I'm free in all the ways that you are not. Tyler's not here. Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. What? This is impossible. It's all making sense. <laughs> He's good at beating himself up. You're still you. We should do this again sometime. Other times, you imagine yourself watching me. If this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Yeah, how did it work? Why not your job? Or how much fun do you have in the bank? Holy crap. Technically, you're fucking Marla. <laughs> oh my god. Now you see our dilemma. She knows too much. No. This is bullshit. I'm not listening to this. You are insane. No, you're insane. <laughs> you do not have time for this crap. He is completely insane. How is he gonna go on with his life now? I need you to initial this list of phone calls, please. Makes sense why they never told us what this guy's name was. Hello? 1888 Franklin Street. Can I help you? <laughs> what in the world is happening? I think something really terrible is about to happen at your building. You have got... It's under control, sir. Don't worry about us, sir. What? That was like some sort of member? These are like all places he has like bombs set up and now he's trying to stop himself. Marla! Marla! You are whack out ball! Bring him to the fucking room! <laughs> The finger jumps and lie. The stink was unbelievable. Oh my god. Take a tremendous act of faith on your part, but you've got to hear me. Oh, here comes an avalanche of bullshit. <laughs> he's about to come clean with what he's learned. Um, uh, I'll just have a coffee, thanks. Sir, anything you order is free of charge, sir. It's another member. Fried chicken with a baked potato with everything and a chocolate chiffon pie. Clean food, please. No clam chowder, thank you. Oh god. What are they doing to the food? I, I know that it's got to seem like there's two sides to me when you're with Two me. sides? You're Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Jackass. <laughs> I've come to realize something very, very important. The full extent of our relationship wasn't really clear to me up until now for reasons I'm not going to go into. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, 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 no. Please, 15 seconds, don't open your mouth or move. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that I'm sorry. What I've come to realize is that I, I really like you, Marla. There we go. Marla, your life is in danger. What? Yeah, what does the order his goons to do? Marla, Shut up! Not safe. Shut up! Okay. There are things about you I like. You're smart. You're funny. You're spectacular in bed. He doesn't even know that. I can't do this anymore. You can't leave, Mark. Like, you're not sick. Oh boy. What's gonna happen to her? Here, wait. Be right here. <laughs> we'll never bother you again if that's what you want. Shut up! Please get on the bus. She's really taking control of this situation. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. Wait. That's what he said to her. Oh no. Were there bad people on that bus? Hello. I need you to arrest me. <laughs> of a terrorist organization responsible for numerous acts of vandalism and assault all over the city. Are they gonna believe him? Chapters have sprung up in five or six other major cities already. He's really trying to take himself down. Buried in the garden, you'll find the body of Robert Paulson. He's giving it all up. To blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies and the TRW building. If you erase the debt record, then we all go back to zero. Interesting plan. I need to make a phone call. I really admire what you're doing. You're a brave man to worry this. You're a genius, sir. Oh, yeah, they're all part of the group. Anyone ever interferes with Project Mayhem, even you, we gotta get his balls. Oh, no. It's really a powerful gesture, Mr. Durden. No way. You're making a big mistake, fellas. You said you'd say that. I'm not Tyler Durden! You told me you'd <laughs> say that, too. Holy crap. I'm giving you a direct order. We are aborting this mission right now. You said you would definitely say that. Holy crap. He really screwed himself. Let's go over to that house on Paper Street. Be right there. Okay. Anyway! Holy crap. I got him. Sir, we have to do this. This is not gonna happen, right? Where's the rubber band? Get away from me! 
Oh, you're right. There we go. Get your stuff out of here. First person comes out, this fucking door gets a, gets a lead salad, you understand? <laughs> He really created an insane cult. I ran until my muscles burned and my veins pumped battery acid. Where'd you go? What the fuck are you doing? Running around your underpants. Oh no. Tyler's back. It'll be like pay-per-view. <laughs> We're about to get to the beginning of the movie now. He's not real. That's a lot of explosives. Oh Christ. Now what are you doing? <laughs> I'm stopping this. You know there are ten other bombs in ten other buildings. And since when is Project Mayhem about murder? You wanna make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs. Oh my god. He's not gonna have enough time to stop them all. Wouldn't do that. Not unless I knew which wires for what. <laughs> if you know, then I know. That's true. Or maybe I knew you'd know, so I spent the whole day thinking about the wrong ones. <laughs> And messing with his own mind. Oh, heavens no, not the green one. <laughs> it worked. No oh, boy. I'm not kidding. Even though he knows, <clears throat> even though he knows he's fake. Whoa! Can't do anything about it. You are now buying a gun at your imaginary friend near 400 gallons of nitro glycerin! <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. Ah! <laughs> So he's just beating himself up right now. Oh, <laughs> he's skilled at beating himself up. I don't even know how he does it. <laughs> See, how would he have thrown a shoe at himself? Oh my god. He's losing the fight against himself. See, what is that? You can't physically do that. He's his own worst enemy. All those things are gonna blow up. This is it. The beginning. I think beginning this is about where we came in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still can't think of anything. Flashback humor. <laughs> I get it. This movie's so meta. Think of everything we've accomplished, man. Out these windows, we will view the collapse of financial history. But is he in the building that's gonna blow up as well? What's happening to Marla? Why is she here? Tying up loose ends. Oh no. I'm begging you, please don't do this. I'm not doing this. We are doing this. He really has no control over himself. You created me. I didn't create some loser alter ego to make myself feel better. Oh my Take God. some responsibility. <laughs> I am responsible for all of it and I accept that. That's why he's trying to stop it. Please call this off. Have I ever let us down? How far have you come because of me? More like how far have you fallen? But this is too much. I don't want this. <laughs> Wanna go back to the shit job? The fucking condo world watching sitcoms? Fuck you. I won't do it. I don't know. Sounds kind of nice compared to this. It's already done, so shut up. 60 seconds. You see all right. How could you possibly stop it at this point? I got zoomed in your hand. I got zoomed in my hand. Oh god, he's starting to break through. Hey, good for you, doesn't change a thing. <laughs> Kill himself? Why you want to put a gun to your head? Our head. Those bombs are still gonna blow up though. <laughs> I want you to really listen to me. Okay. <laughs> My eyes are open. God! You actually just did that? God dang. That's my still. Smell. Smoke's coming out of his mouth. Oh god. Billy just killed himself. He's still moving. This is good. Oh my god. Sir. Why is he still alive? Are you alright, sir? Oh yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> what? You look really awful. You need medical assistance. I'm fine. Oh. What in the world is this? Bad light shit! Let her let her go. Did he really survive that shot? Leave her with me. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. You fucker! <laughs> what fucking game are you playing at? Putting me on a fucking bo- Oh my god, your face! What in the world? I can't believe he's staying. One tough motherfucker. This has- This doesn't make any sense. You shot yourself? Yes, but it's okay. 
Marla, look at me. I'm really okay. <laughs> Trust me. Never, Never feel better. <laughs> yeah. There goes all your bombs. Jesus. You met me at a very strange time in my life. <laughs> you can say that. Wow. Place those all in the perfect spots. Perfectly collapsed them all. <laughs> what a weird movie. Well, that was a pretty crazy movie. Definitely hard to keep up with everything that was happening. Definitely a really unique concept. Never seen anything like this. It was pretty fun trying to figure out what was real and what was not. And I guess it was just Tyler that was the only thing that was fake. Everything else was somehow real. And I guess he was just created as an imaginary version of himself. A person that he wants to be. And he was just carrying out all those deeds the whole time. I noticed weird things like people were never actually looking at Tyler. And this movie was nothing like what I thought it would be. I thought the Fight Club would be like a major thing in this. I mean, it definitely was, but it wasn't like the main focus or anything. But the overall message is kind of a good one, in a way. It really demisses like the materialistic life and all the corporate crap in this world. And he just wants to break free from that, live life more wildly. Now, of course, he took that way too far. But if you take these lessons on a very small scale, it's not a bad thing. And that ending was pretty wild. I don't know how he shot himself and survived. I thought he had the gun straight up because the way because the way Brad Pitt's character died, the whole back of his head was blown out. So I thought that was what was going to happen to Tyler. And then just ending with everything exploding. Pretty insane. I don't know how he's going to live his life after this. But hopefully he can dismantle that weird cult he made. But overall, I enjoyed this movie. Definitely never Never seen anything like it and if you enjoyed my reaction please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you when i see you peace